Figures that it starts to pour as soon as we're about to head home from training. You didn't happen to bring an umbrella, did you? Ah, me neither. Well, I suppose there are worse places to be stuck. And worse company to be stuck with. But, as lovely as the company is, I was hoping to get home on time tonight. I'm looking forward to some ramen after work. And, unfortunately, the shop closes just after I normally get home. Maybe if I run for it... Hmm. No. I don't think so. Judging by those clouds, we're going to be waiting for a while. How about you? Looking forward to anything when you get home? Looking forward to a night in with your boyfriend, maybe? It's been a while since I've heard anything about him. Broke up? Oh, forgive me for bringing it up. When did it happen? Oh, I'm surprised I didn't find out sooner. Too scared to share your life with your work best friend, hmm? <laughs> uh, just a joke. But you know, you don't have to be embarrassed to talk about what's going on in your personal life. It's not like we have a human resource department to report you to, or anything. Not that I would do that, of course. Uh, anyway, how about this weather, huh? It's been raining on and off like this for hours. Kind of dreary. I thought we might get lucky and have it clear up before we headed home. I bet your ex-boyfriend's feeling even worse, knowing he's going home alone instead of to you on a day like today. Having a partner at home can make days like this feel cozy instead of wearisome. Sorry. Sorry. I'll drop it. But I could have just been talking about myself. It's not like I'm going home to anyone either. Just a warm meal and some books. Well, not as warm as I was hoping. <laughs> that ramen shop is definitely going to be closed by the time I can get there. Which, hey, I can't complain. At least I've got stuff at home. But, uh, Everything all right? You know, I was teasing you with my comments from earlier about your, well, the guy I guess who would be your ex now. If the wound's still fresh, I guess we can change the subject. But maybe it would be better to talk once there's a roof over our heads. We don't have to worry about the rain pouring on us anymore. The weather's just getting worse. Here, let's start walking out. We can wait by the door, at least. Oh, hey, careful now, you... Uh, I... I'm guessing it wasn't your intention to press your lips against my own just now, was it? <laughs> You're telling me that the thunder startled you and made you trip into me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Likely story. Shall we, uh, shall we get back to, to my place? You know, so we can get a cup of coffee and warm up. Maybe you can get a sample of my cooking too. Hm, whatever you want. Just a friendly offer. You can take it or leave it. It's better to get somewhere now, while the rain is starting to lighten up. Besides, my place is a lot closer. Are you doubting my generosity? I'd offer this kind of thing to every one of my friends. Don't worry about any ulterior motives. 
I don't have a goal or anything in mind. Come on, let's get going. You know, you keep staring at me. Are you still hung up on that incident? <laughs> it's really no big deal. I get the hint. Why that face? Really, I'm only concerned about your comfort. <laughs> and eventually, making a great cup of coffee. I live to impress, after all. <sighs> you really have the most amazing laugh. I could listen to it all day. I only wish I was a funnier guy. <laughs> I disagree. Your laugh isn't your best feature. That would certainly be your smile. So warm and bright. <laughs> and completely the opposite to what you'd expect from a ninja. You know, I can't help but think... <clears throat> you keep saying we're friends. But you look at me for a moment too long for that to be true. Uh, forgive me if that was out of line. I know you've only just broken up with your boyfriend recently. I just... Maybe I'm reading too far into things. But the way you look at me... And... I can't help but think that that kiss wasn't just an accident. Maybe I've been reading too many romance novels after all. Please, forget that I brought it up. Hmm? What are... Hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> I hope that wasn't an accident this time. A kiss in the rain to accompany a confession. Maybe I'm living in one of those cheesy romance books after all. Please. Can I kiss you again? Mm. Ah. That... Huh. What a relief. I have to admit that I've wanted to be more than friends with you for a while. But I didn't want to be disrespectful. I knew that you were in a relationship, and I wasn't going to jeopardize that. Not to mention that losing you as a friend was a very scary idea. Who else would put up with me at work? <laughs> But I'm happy to hear that you feel the same way. This isn't just a rebound, right? Good. In that case, if I'm living in a cheesy romance book, I'm excited to see the next chapter. Come on, we're almost home. We've spent enough time getting soaked in the rain. Before you go, thank you so much for listening. If you liked the audio, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more audios in the future. If you want your own audio commission, visit anagomi.com commissions, where you can send any prompt that you want. And for our adult fans, patreon.com slash anagomi has exclusive spicy audios. Until next time, I'll be thinking about you.